Hi, this is Mary Morrissey. Oh, I have a great story for you today. It's a true story about Arthur Gordon. Arthur Gordon was one of the most famous publishers and editors in the United States. And he shares a very intimate story about his life in his book called The Turn of the Tide. It, he said it tells of a time when he was feeling um, everything was stale and flat. His enthusiasm waned, his writing efforts were fruitless, and the situation was growing worse day by day. Finally, he determined to get some help from a medical doctor. Observing that nothing was physical wrong, the doctor asked him if he would be able to follow his instructions for one day. And Gordon says, well, I can. The doctor said, all right, well, then I want you to spend one day in a place where you were happiest as a child. You can take food but you are not to talk to anyone or read or write or listen to the radio or take your cell phone. He then wrote out four prescriptions, the doctor, and told Gordon to open one at nine, one at 12, one at three, and one at six. Are you serious, Gordon asked him? You won't think I'm joking when you get my bill, said the doctor. So the next morning, Gordon went to the beach. As he opened the first prescription, he read, listen carefully. He thought the doctor was insane. How could he listen for three hours? But he'd agreed to follow the doctor's orders, and so he listened. And also, he'd been in so much pain and difficulty and sadness and wondering how to make things work. So he sat and he listened, and he listened for three hours. He heard the usual sounds of the sea and the birds, and after a while he could hear other sounds that weren't so apparent at first. And as he listened, he began to think of lessons the sea had taught him as a child. Patience, respect, an awareness of the interdependence of things. And he began to listen to the sounds, the silence, and to begin to feel a growing peace inside him. At noon, he opened the second slip of paper and he read, Try reaching back. Reaching back to what, he thought? Perhaps to childhood or to memories of happy times? He thought about his past about the many little moments of joy. He tried to remember them with exactness, and in remembering them, he found a growing warmth inside. At three o'clock, he opened the third piece of paper, and up until now, the prescriptions had been fairly easy to take, but this one was difficult because it was different, and it said, examine your motives. At first, he felt very defensive. He thought about what he wanted, success, recognition, security, and he justified them all. But then the thought occurred to him that these motives weren't good enough, and that perhaps herein was the answer to his stagnant situation. He considered his motives deeply. He thought about past happiness, and at last the answer came to him. In a flash of certainty, he wrote, I saw that if one's motives are wrong, nothing can be right. It makes no difference whether you're a mailman, a hairdresser, an insurance salesman, a housewife, whatever. As long as you feel you are serving others, you do the job well. And when you're concerned only with helping yourself, you do it less well. A law as inexorable as gravity. When six o'clock came, the final prescription didn't take long to fill. Write your worries in the sand. He, he knelt, wrote several words on a piece of broken shell on the, with the, in the sand. Then he turned and walked away. He didn't even look back because he knew the tide would wash them away. A law as inexorable as gravity. When we hook what we're doing to helping others, our whole life expands. Have a great day.